Uh, hey guys, uh, finally a webcam video back. Uh, I apologize about the quality, it's not that great. Uh, it, I sold my iMac actually, uh, which was what I was previously using for these types of videos, and this is just a MacBook web built-in webcam. And I am noticing, looking at the quality now, it's like really kind of dark. Could be due to the lighting in this room and, I don't know, other different factors. Um, but I apologize for that. Uh, but it's it's definitely better than what I've been doing previously. Um, uh, anyways, this video is a uh, Grand Theft Auto V impressions video, I guess. Uh, I as some of you might know I already did upload a vid a Grand Theft Auto V review previously, and I took it down because uh, the mic I was using I was using it, it made my voice crackle and pop constantly throughout the video, and it, it was just listening back to it it was awful. Um, I, I really couldn't stand that. Um, so I, I wanted to do a proper impressions video with my, you know, voice not being annoying or anything like that, no issues. So, I, it might be hard to remember exactly what I said in that video. Uh, I don't have the game with me, so I can't show it as a visual aid. I'll just put a picture somewhere, probably up there or something. Um, but, I don't know who needs a visual aid, I guess. I, I lent it to a friend. Uh, I, I did buy it on PS3. Um, I don't know why I bought it on PS3, I just did. Uh, anyways, Grand Theft Auto V, up. Obviously, the biggest game, biggest release this year, probably, and for the rest of the year. Um, <laughs> what can I say about Grand Theft Auto V? Uh, first off, a, a bit about me and the series. Um, Grand Theft Auto has always been one of those series, like a Call of Duty or Halo, where it's it's been big. Every time a game's come come out in this series, it's been massive, sold sold tons of copies. Grand Theft Auto V, a billion copies now. I think. Uh, I think it's like the fastest selling game in history. Pretty crazy. Grand Theft Auto, like, typically I'm not into blockbuster games like this, uh, but the GTA series is something I've always loved ever since Grand Theft Auto 3. I have a lot of nostalgic memories of that game. Um, so I've kind of been excited for every release. Uh, my favorite's Vice City. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 doesn't quite reach Vice City for me, although it is definitely the better game. Uh, it's just I love the Miami setting of Vice City. I love the soundtrack in that game. I love the the Scarface type storyline. Uh, Ray Liotta is uh, Tommy Rossetti. I just that everything about that game I just adore. Um, Grand Theft Auto V is a whole different beast. Um, but I've always loved the series. But I don't really like it for I think a lot of a lot of the reasons why a lot of other people do. Um, I don't really like fucking around in these games that much. I used I loved that in Grand Theft Auto Three when I was younger. But nowadays. Uh, whenever I play a Grand Theft Auto game or even any open world game, I'll generally just kind of, uh, like, I'll just kind of go through the storyline itself, uh, and that's usually why I play these games. I really, really like the storylines in Grand Theft Auto games. I'm a sucker for anything, like, anything crime-related, uh, and the GTA series has always done it for me in that regard, so I like just playing the game, doing the main storyline missions, and then I'm usually done with it. Um... Now, Grand Theft Auto V, in terms of what you can do, is a huge step up in, from GTA 4. The amount of things you can do in this game is staggering. Uh, you've got, like, golf, tennis, you can go swimming in this game in the ocean, and submarines, you can, you know, sharks can eat you, you can you explore this wide desert area. Uh, you, there's so many different vehicles, planes, bikes, there's, you know, stranger missions, you meet random people that will give you random missions. Um... The list goes on and on and on. Like there's, you know, stock market. You can use your phone and browse the internet and get missions that way. You can call people, do taxi missions, uh, buy properties, get money that way. They'll give you more missions. Like, like it's just it's I can't I can't even possibly list the amount of things you can do in that game, and uh, and this game rather. And a lot of people, anyone that plays it, is probably going to be compelled to do all that kind of stuff. I tried maybe every little thing you could do in the game maybe once or twice, and that was it for me. Uh, just because it's not it's not what I look for in a in a Grand Theft Auto game. It's not really why I play them, uh, it, which is weird to say. Uh, but I don't know. I just immediately from the get go, the storyline and characters in this game are what grabbed me, and it, they kept me hooked all the all throughout the entire game. Uh, as well as the fact that the missions in this game are expertly designed compared to previous Grand Theft Autos, I'd say. Overall, it's a far less frustrating game than the previous Grand Theft Autos. I th I find uh, the checkpointing is a lot smarter this time around. Uh, there's there's no frustrations with dying and having to do re redo long sections over again. Um, it it's very good like that. Uh, but in terms of what I want to cover, let's see. Um, I'll start off with the storyline characters that because to me it's it's the best part of the game. But a lot of people might have problems with it. Uh, this game's had quite a lot of controversy. Um, it's 
you know, uh, I think the big thing is a torture scene that happens uh, late, uh, early in the game, which I'll admit, uh, this game, it, I, I generally found, found it very humorous. It's an extremely funny game. It, it just, it, tons of, of satire that I found very hilarious. Um, but there is a torture moment that uh, a lot of people are talking about. And it, it is kind of, it did kind of make me uncomfortable a bit. I didn't feel like it really fit with the tone of the game. Um, but I wasn't terribly bothered by it. it. It definitely makes you think. It gets people talking. And I think that's what they were trying to go for with that scene in particular. Uh, so I don't really have a problem with it being in the game. Uh, on the other hand, a lot, the, the game's got, a lot of people are, are accusing this game of, uh, you know, misogyny, and that's where, I, I don't know, I, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's a bit tough in that regard. Uh, a lot of the previous Grand Theft Auto games, I feel, have had misogynistic themes as well. Uh, I don't think that's a new thing for this series. Um, yeah, pretty much every woman in this game is either a stripper or, like, a, you know, a bored housewife or this shrill, like, just manic, like, I don't know, it, the female characters are not very well-defined or strong in this game, but, uh, and I, I guess, I can see someone's point that that's kind of a problem with this game, and why, you know, why couldn't there be a female main character? I think that, I, personally, I think that would be really cool to see in a Grand Theft Auto game. Uh, the lead writers of Grand Theft Auto Five said that that's not, it wouldn't fit in with this game, or Grand Theft Auto in, in particular, because they feel it's, it should be like this male power fantasy, like this very masculine game, and, and fair enough. Um, I, I will say, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, the, there might be some perceived uh, misogyny, but I think the, the whole game is kind of designed in a way, like, I don't know, it's tough, I, I, it's tough because it will certainly offend some people and other people won't be bothered by it. All I can say is I wouldn't, I, I wasn't bothered by it. Um, then again, personally, I don't get offended by much. Honestly, I don't think anything really offends me. Uh, so it it would have been hard for that stuff to bother me in this game anyways. Uh, but w I did laugh frequently throughout this game, uh, and it's the writing I, th I found really... It's it's really excellent writing. It's it's funny. It it it, it fits the Grand Theft Auto uh, series. It, it's not the most intelligent writing around, but it, it's fun. It's entertaining. I will say it relies too heavily, I think, on swearing. Uh, now I don't have a problem with swearing. I, I you know, but uh, the amount of fucks in this game is insane. Like I've never heard so much swearing in in my life. It it, it got, I got a bit old. I got to admit. Like it, I don't know. It felt like. They they use it as a crutch a bit. Like I've never even in previous Grand Theft Auto games, I had I never heard this much swearing. Like right off the bat, too, it never ends. Um, the storyline itself, uh, of course, the big thing with this game: three characters. Uh, you can switch between them. It makes the missions really dynamic and cool. Uh, you have Trevor, which a crazy, batshit, bombastic character. Uh, he's he's a very disturbing character. Uh, and the thing with this game too is the fact that you're you're playing kind of villains in this game. You're not really playing the antihero like a lot of all the other Grand Theft Auto games. So it doesn't have that kind of hypocritical nature where you know where it's like like for instance in GTA 4, Nico was all like, oh, "I don't want to be doing this. I don't, I don't you know I, I just I, I don't pull me into this kind of stuff." And then you go on a mission where you're shooting countless people. Uh, you know it doesn't have that kind of stuff. So I kind of liked playing the villains in this game. Uh, they're not very likable characters, but at the same time, they are. They do a lot of evil stuff. Um, and Michael in particular, I love Michael. He's one of my favorite characters in any game in quite a long time. Uh, you know, he's got, he's, he's got like, shithead kids. Uh, they're very, the kids are very stereotypical in this game, but they made me laugh, uh, the teenage daughter and son. But, you know, he's just kind of sick of his life, uh, of where his life's led him, and he's rich and unhappy, and... He's kind of the main focal point of the game. Uh, you have Mike uh, Franklin, which is... I, I really like him, too. He's similar to CJ and San Andreas, I guess. Um, uh, and then, of course, you have Trevor, which he's the crazy character. One of the best characters in a video game in a long time. Although I, but I still prefer Michael, in a way. Uh, and Trevor's Canadian, which I found pretty funny, because he's absolute batshit insane and totally evil and just really talkative. Uh, and he's the Canadian. Uh, it's, it's, that made me laugh. Um, but a really great, strong characters. I, I love the three main characters. The storyline in this game, there's not really much of a storyline to speak of. You're kind of just going on heists uh, and then doing favors for, like, uh, for random people, which is kind of similar to how other Grand Theft Auto games played out. But 
The way this game ties up, uh, the way the ending works, I think is really interesting and really cool. I really like how this game ties up at the end. It, it, really, it really ends quite nicely. Uh, but the storyline and the characters grip me all the way through, uh, just like with previous Grand Theft Auto games, I think actually even more so. Uh, so, you know, an excellent storyline, loved the characters. Uh, now quickly, uh, the visuals and sound. Uh, visually, this is a stunning game, uh, and this is the big difference for me, uh, why I like this quite a bit more than Grand Theft Auto 4, and I actually love Grand Theft Auto 4. I know a lot of people hate that game, but I actually really like that game still, despite its many flaws. Uh, San Andreas is just an amazing place to explore. There's so much variety to the environments. There's hillsides, uh, desert, a wide ocean for you to explore, a really vast uh, city, a very detailed city, uh, so many buildings you can enter, and on a technical and artistic design level, this game is really great to look at. Uh, it was one; of my, It's definitely one of my favorite parts of the game. Uh, sound, too, uh, the voice acting is all top-notch as, as per usual with these types of games. Um, and known big-name actors in this game, which I, I think that's a good choice. Uh, it makes you relate to the characters more, uh, so I did enjoy that. Uh, I love the soundtrack they've used. Uh, this is the first Grand Theft Auto game with an actual soundtrack during missions. Uh, it's very kind of... It's hard to describe, but each track very fit... It really fits the mood, uh, and these songs get more... Like, more elements are added to them uh, the further you get into missions and the more intense missions get. Uh, and I actually much preferred it to the actual radio stations in this game, which is where one of my complaints with the game uh, lies, and that's the, the radio stations themselves. And this is kind of like a personal taste thing, but there's just... I don't know, I didn't find myself list liking any of, the, any of the radio stations. I usually like, uh, you know, roaming around the city, listening to the radio stations. The talk stations are as hilarious as always. They're great, but once you kind of exhaust all that you can hear on them, you kind of don't want to listen to those anymore. Uh, in terms of the other radio stations, you got a hi the hip hop stations, which I like hip hop music. I really can't stand. Um, again, personal opinion there. Um, you know, electronic music, which again I can't really stand. Country, don't really like that. Um, just all the kind of music that's in this game, I'm not really big on. Uh, the classic rock station is basically like 80s pop with a few 70s rock songs thrown in, which is what I listen to throughout the game, but. I wasn't too thrilled with the song selections on that. I mean, when your favorite, when my favorite song is Def Leppard's Photograph, uh, there's kind of a problem there, uh, which is a shame because all the other soundtracks in the Grand Theft Auto games have been amazing. Uh, San Andreas in particular. I mean, Radio X, uh, K Dust, so many great songs on those stations. You had Vice City, which every station was fucking great on that game. Uh, I don't know. I thought it, I think it was, it was a disappointment. There's a lot of cool songs that are great for certain moments, like. Uh, you know, that's certain moments that happen in the game, like when you're driving off a mountain, like a massive jump, and then uh, Chicago's, um, what's that song? I don't remember. There's a song from by Chicago in this game that fits a lot of moments in this game. Uh, but I don't know. I, I found the, the, the radio stations disappointing this time around, unfortunately. Now, the gameplay, uh, which there's a lot to cover here. I'm just going to cover probably the most important things. Uh, first off, my favorite thing about this game, probably, the heist missions. These are some of the most exciting, thrilling, and intense missions I've played in any game. Uh, whether, well, as far as shooters, or action games in general go. Uh, now, there's not many of them in the storyline. I know a lot of people are complaining about this, but I think that makes sense, uh, because uh, I don't want to spoil things, but it, I think it makes sense in that context. But I would have liked a lot more of them as maybe side missions, uh, because these are definitely the highlights of this game. Uh, you kind of plan out your attack before you go on these these scores uh, by roaming around the map doing specific objectives. Uh, and once you actually start doing the heists and switching between characters and going throughout these really long action sequences, whether you're... I, I, I don't want to spoil like what happens during these heists, but they are absolutely amazing. Like, really, really fun. Uh, and honestly, the missions that aren't the heists are really great too. Uh, definitely the best mission design I've seen out of a Grand Theft Auto game in quite a while. Um, Vehicles this time around handle much better than they did in Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, they don't control like tanks anymore. I, I actually got used to driving those, but but here they control much better. Uh, the shooting's been improved quite a bit too. Uh, it's it's not on the level of Max Payne 3, which I, I feel that's the best the best shooting mechanics in any shooter so far. Uh, it's a bit of a step step back from that. 
Uh, auto aim in this game is very generous. <laughs> it's extremely easy to auto aim guys and kill them really quickly. I could see some people complaining about that, but uh, the amount of enemies this game throws at you is far greater than any previous Grand Theft Auto games and any previous Grand Theft Auto game. And even in the early missions, you're killing like hundreds of guys per mission. Uh, so you kind of need that auto aim, or else it would just get too much, uh, too difficult. And if you if you don't like the auto aim, you can still turn it off. So that's always good. Um, Control-wise, it's the controls aren't as smooth as say San Andreas or Vice City. There's still a bit of that kind of weird movement, like GTA 4 had uh, in Red Dead, Red, Dead, Red Dead Redemption. I think that's the new engine Rockstar is using their engine. I don't, I forget what it's called, but I, I think that's partly due to that. But I, I think it is a much more smoother game than GTA 4. Uh, and, and like I said, the amount of shit you can do in this game is just insane. Uh, from a gameplay standpoint, it's pretty much perfect. Um, but anyways, I think that about covers it. Uh, I don't want this video go go on too long. Uh, I will say I enjoyed my time with it. It took me around 20 hours to go through the main storyline. Uh, I, I didn't feel compelled to do a lot of the side activities and stuff, but that's just me. That's a very personal thing. Uh, if you have any interest in open world games, you've pr you're probably already playing this. Uh, but if you haven't, definitely definitely pick it up. The replay value is insane here. Definitely worth the money. If you're not into open world games, I, I'd say it, this is probably not going to change your mind. Perhaps it will, but I don't know. Uh, it, it's definitely one of the best games I've played this year. I, I don't think it's worth all the tens out of tens it's been getting. Uh, I don't think it's one of the best games ever made or anything like that, but um, it, it, it certainly... Oh, okay, I forgot about the one fly I do have. This is the thing I, I, I didn't like I didn't like about this game. The flying vehicle controls. They've always been shitty in Grand Theft Auto games. They're still shitty here. I, I Maybe I just suck at it, but I cannot fly a plane or a helicopter for my life. And a lot of the missions that had them, I got frustrated really easily and failed multiple times. And that's another flaw I can bring up. There is still the typical mission frustrations in this game that previous Grand Theft Auto games had. Uh, you're, you're, the directions aren't clear on a lot of missions, so you'll fail at random times. Uh, thinking that you're supposed to do one thing, but you had to do another. It, it, it's got that typical Grand Theft Auto frustration. There's still some tailing missions, which I fucking hate. I don't know why those are in video games. They're so boring and just irritating and a waste of time. Um, it, but there's, you know, it's some typical mission frustrations. Not every mission's a, a, a hit. Uh, there's, there's some misses in there. It's not a perfect game. Uh, there's some technical, there's some glitches and here and there. It's it, it's not perfect. I don't think it's a 10 out of 10 game, but it's one of the best games I've played this year. Is it my game of the year? Uh, you'll have to wait and see. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, I enjoy it overall. Uh, but anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.